Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video we're talking about how effective these UV sterilization boxes really are. I've run some tests, and I'm going to share the results of those tests with you, uh, you know, at the end of this video. Uh, I, I ran a couple, and a, they were really informative as to exactly how you operate this, because if you operate this in different ways, it can be a, a, an enormous amount of difference in how effective it is at actually doing its job. But before we get to that, I just want to explain what this is and the basic functions of it. I did a, a video on it earlier. You can click up above if you want to check out that video, uh, but I'm going to run through the basic functions here as well. Uh, so a UV sterilization box, the purpose of it is that you put things on the inside to sterilize them. There's a couple of racks here. It's kind of like a toaster oven. This one here is made by JJ Care. There are lots of different UV sterilization ovens and they all basically work on the same principle. And the active ingredient is the light bulb on the inside. Uh, all the rest of it is just convenience and timers and things like that. So uh, the one I had from JJ Care actually had a little bit of a problem with the top shelf. It jiggled around a little bit. I put some foam pads in the back to kind of wedge it in place and then it became a lot easier to, to use. But whatever uh, unit you get, Put something inside of it, close the door up. This one has a hard on off switch, which I like, so it's not doing like a little phantom drain of, of power over time. Uh, turn it on and then the, you just hit the switch to go through uh, the timer functions. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, goes by five uh, minute increments all the way up to an hour. So you can uh, have things in there for whatever amount of time you feel is necessary. And we're gonna get to what time is necessary. You know, I, well, I share with you guys the data that I, I generated from this. Uh, one other thing I'd mention about this is that once the cycle runs, uh, the UV light at the wavelength that it's operating at creates ozone. And the ozone is another biological killer of whatever is on the inside. So even after the thing is done, you wanna just leave it turned off leave it closed and just leave it in there if you don't have to rush the thing out because the ozone is going to be do doing more damage on whatever you know critters are on, uh, there on the inside. Last note before I share the data is uh, I know a lot of people are new to prepping and preparedness. They've brought, been brought here from you know coronavirus and people are interested in the idea of maybe being prepared a little bit more for things and that's a good thing. Uh, an old adage of preppers is that two is one and one is none. This is the backup bulb for this unit. So when the bulb in this um, invariably someday goes down, I've got a backup for it. Now you could also say, well, shouldn't I have two, two of these little uh, UV sterilization boxes? Well, yeah, I, I guess I could, but the UV sterilization box costs a heck of a lot more than uh, just getting the backup bulb. Plus it's a lot bigger to store if I have to store all these double things everywhere. If they're really large, sometimes it becomes a little cumbersome. But also I do have a backup. These are, uh, sterilize, uh, sterilizers for shoes, like so you don't get athlete's foot and stuff like that. These just go right into your shoes, uses UV light, same kind of principle. So if I ever was in a bind and this thing did go down, I could use this. Also, there is a run on these. If, I think the JJ Care one, I, I'm gonna have links in the description below if you wanna get any of this stuff, it's all down below. Uh, you can get quick, quick and easy links to it. I think the last I checked, these were out, uh, but there, you know, there are other ones available, but there's no run in uh, shoe sterilizing gear. So if you can't get that, you know, these are also another option. Uh, you know, not quite as convenient as this, but it's an option. Okay, so let's talk about how effective these things are. They can work, they can work really well, but you need to know how to use them. In the earlier video, which again, there was a link up above if you guys wanna check that out, I did a test where I took two Petri dishes, and I licked my hands, and I put my fingers into each Petri dish. Now one Petri dish, I just put right away, I put into a drawer. The other Petri dish, I ran in this thing for a 20 minute cycle. Uh, I put it in there, ran it for 20 minutes, let it sit in the ozone for you know, a while after that. Then I took the Petri dish out and just threw it in the drawer along with the other one. Now, uh, after a couple days, there was more mold growth on the uh, Petri dish that had uh, not been exposed, uh, but there was still a little bit of mold growth on the Petri dish that had been exposed. 20 minutes was not enough. 20 minutes didn't cut it. I did another experiment after that because I, you know, made me a little nervous, like, you know, well, does this thing work at all? I did another experiment and I did the same thing, two Petri dishes, two hands went down, uh, and this time I ran it for an hour. I did an entire hour cycle, and here are the results of those experiments right here. This one here, uh, was not exposed to UV light, and there's quite a bit of mold growth on this one. And this one here uh, was run through the machine, and there's pretty much nothing. I see like one tiny little speck of mold right here, but really, really effective if you run the thing for an hour. So if you get one of these, make sure you, you know, use it fully. You know, don't don't count on the fact that it's like ah, you know, it got exposed to a little bit of UV light. I'm sure it's fine. It's not. Uh, 20 minutes didn't cut it. 
one hour really, really did. So again, uh, links to anything that you, uh, you, know, uh, you know, related to this are down below if you guys want them for uh, quick and easy access. Also, Petri dishes. I'm going to throw a link down below if you want to test whatever device you get. This is the JJ Care one, uh, running whatever bulb you know, came native with it. Uh, you know, but it's a good idea to test whatever unit you get. You, know, you want to make sure that you don't have a false faith in whatever you know, unit you're buying. So get it, get, get yourself some Petri dishes to a similar test and just make sure that your, you know, your unit, whatever it is, actually works. That's it. Good luck through all of this and thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.